through the window, and I think it might have had the number of the nursery on it. Yes, it's another Mellop family crisis. Now, who would you turn to if you were Bill Mellop? Oh, like I told you before, if you hassle her about it, you're only drawing her attention to it, and she'll keep it up. Steal something? Do you reckon he's got the guts? So why did Darren steal the whoop? Dump! Hey, you've excelled yourself this time. And I'm going to make sure your mum and dad find out about it too. But Sam and Mike are going to hate me though. Oh, what a small price to pay, eh? Hey? We want our whoop back. You want your what, what? You know what we mean. That. The whoop at Sam's bedroom window. <laughs> Not anymore, it isn't. Yes, it is. And you know it is. Oh, yes. The world's got to be saved in a nine days, right? Eight. Eight? Okay, then. How about this? How about I let you have it for a short time on the weekend? How's that sound? But it's my window. No, you no, can't... no, no. It is not your window. It is my window. And I'm letting you have it for one hour on Santiago. And if you can't save the world in an hour, then you might as well give up and go home and play tiddlywinks. What is he talking about? What I find very hard to believe is that you want to use a remote control from a video player to check the power level of a golf ball on a window. Yes, Dump has seized his window of opportunity and launched another business. Take it then, the loan will be forthcoming. Come on, me little mate. We've got the green light. We're open for business. Uh, Uncle Bunny! Uncle Bunny, no, please, no! Hey. Oh, I am not! Not you, him! Oh. It's not my fault! Can you please stop teasing your woman until we can find out how long the power will last? There's plenty of power. You can save the world on Saturday! How's this for junk mail? <laughs> Sometimes there are some things that can't be explained Time doesn't stand still and there's nothing that stays just the way we want it to be Make sure I'm changing round here It's a miracle we need right now What's a whoop? It stands for windows of opportunity. And lets you travel through space instantly. You can go anywhere, just jump through it and you're there. Oh yeah. It's true. Except Dump's got it. I see. And it's not his, right? It's ours. Yours. Well, it's really Ebony's, but it's sort of ours. Ebony's? Well, it isn't Dump's, that's the main thing. No, right, he just stole it. Well, Darren stole it. But he's using it. Who? Hey, Darren. No, no Dump. Dump. Look, this is all sounding very far-fetched. It's How about not a... far-fetched. We need the whoop so we can take the model of the Opera House back to the planet the grubs come from. What's so far-fetched about that? How much? Ah! I tell you what, forget all this stuff about grubs and things and, and just think about your jasmines. Are you going to stand by and let those plants die without a whimper? Or are you going to get even with the man who killed them? <laughs> do it for the Jasmines, Ryan. Right. What do I do? Now that's the whoop there. This is incredible. Now, You've got to give Duck the phone number of where you want to go, and that is where you're going to leave him stranded. Oh, have you got it? Right here. Now, you've got to pin this phone number on the book. You've got to pull the blind and jump through before Duck can stop you, okay? Uh, what is it? It's our home number. You'll arrive at our house. Your house? Your house? Move it! Into the kitchen! 
Or my room. My room's probably best. Well, what's wrong with here? Well, it might get flattened when Mr. O'Neill arrives here with the window. Mr. O'Neill? You ready, Jason? But he isn't the one who's fixing it. Well, sort of, yes. Where's Mike? Anyone know? I thought Mr. O'Neill was a football referee. Sorry? OK, let's hit it. Uh, he's out delivering pamphlets. Who? Mr. O'Neill? No, Mike. Apparently, Mr. O'Neill was coming to fix Sam's window. Uh, well, he was just dropping it off, actually. He's earning a bit of money in the holidays working for the window company. Isn't he, Jace? Sure. He told us last night. And Mike's out delivering pamphlets. That's yeah. right. Really? Yep. So what's that thing? Oh, he must have forgotten to take them with him. You don't seriously expect me to believe that. I don't know. Do you? Joss. When Michael Dane's to come home, could you please ask him to fold some of these so we can let people know what they're doing on Saturday week? Of course. Thank you. Come on. I still think we should move the model into my room. <gasps> oh, look, got the cans on. Here's the remote. Just Not now, Sam. What are you already saying? That's all for now. Tomorrow, I'll be revealing exclusively a most phenomenal event. A newly invented form of instantaneous travel. Oh, my. That's tomorrow in Dr. Ken's world. Instantaneous travel. How amazing. Whoever cottoned onto that must be an absolute genius. Okay. Everybody hold on. Remember, seeing is believing. And when you arrive at the zoo in no time flat, please, no spewing. Everybody ready? You're watching? They're all going to slide down a slippery dip and disappear through the wall. Shoot. No, just keep your eyes on them. Three, two, one, go! Told you. I think you're improving. You didn't actually hit anything this time. Thanks, Dad. Did you, um, get a chance to have a bit of a talk with Sam last night? Um, no. While you were putting up the banner, I thought you might have convinced Sam that now we know that she needs an opera house. Jason! Oh, wow! Must have been the wind. It was pretty strong last night. The wind? Hmm. Tell you what, I'll head home in a few minutes and get some stronger rope. That ought to do it. The wind? Um, one ticket to um... London, dear boy, first class. There you go. Thank you. Next! Oh, <laughs> where do you want to go? Disneyland! Have you got the phone number? Are you sure you remember what to do? <laughs> Hello? Hi, Sam. It's Jace. Has Mr. O'Neill turned up yet? No. Are you kidding? You should be there by now. Well, that's what I thought. What do you mean he can't have a ticket? This is outrageous. Uncle Bunny said anyone who's friends with the Mellop kids can't use the whoop. That's what he said, and that's what's on the departure form. But why? I think he's worried you might try and steal it. Yeah? Well, you'd know all about that, wouldn't you? I've told you before. That, that wasn't my fault. Besides, he doesn't want to steal it. He just wants to go visit his... Jasmine! His cousin, Jasmine. Oh, look. Do you want to be our friend or don't you? Sure. Okay, then. Give him a ticket. I can't. What? I said I can't. Come on, Darren. I can't. Uncle Bunny will tell my parents on me if I do anything like that. But if we don't get the whoop, it'll run out of power. And we won't be able to get the Opera House to the Grubs. So we'll all be dead. Everybody. The whole planet. It'll all be gone. Maybe it won't run out of power. Dump's still going to let us use it on the weekend, remember? We can't take that chance. We don't have much choice. Well, I don't know. I've searched through my room and William's and I still can't find it. What are you looking for? The remote control. I want to turn the volume up. There is a dial on the TV. 
Yes, I know that, but it's really got me puzzled now. I want to find it. What are you doing here anyway? Aren't you supposed to be the nursery? And your father's looking for you too, young man. <coughs> ah, morning. You're here about the window, they tell me. Yes. You know about it too, do you? Well, it's rather hard to ignore, especially when there's a great big hole in the wall. Actually, I know where it could be. I bet it's behind here. Not the window? No, no. The remote control. No, it's on the wall. We're using it as a fuel gauge. <laughs> oh, she's such a zany little thing. Oh, who's got their shoes like? Oh, look! It's them! Pink! These are the ones that ruined my banner. All right, whose are they? Own up! Not mine. Not mine. They're not mine. Oh, I see. Mr. Nobody's, are they? Well, I'll just take them outside until Mr. Nobody's brave enough to claim them. And don't try and tell me that they belong to intergalactic grubs or three-headed sheep from Venus or atomic robots in my hairdryer. I can see through inventions like that very easily. Hang on. That's it. An invention. A what? Well, we have to find someone who Dump doesn't know knows us, right? Sam, we've already been through it. There isn't anyone. Yeah, that's it. So we invent someone. It's that easy. Have a look. Hang on. I haven't looked myself yet. Jace, they're my binoculars. Hang on, Mike. You'll get your turn. He's in the queue. Next! What's happening? Is he okay? So far. Oh, great. Well, has he got a ticket? Not yet. Darren's asking more questions on their departure form. Uh, destination? I'm visiting relatives in the country. The country. Have you been examined for worms? Yes. And lastly, do you know the Mellon children? Jace, let me look. In a minute. They're mine. So what's happening? He's still at the ticket counter. I don't recognise him, Darren. Please don't recognise him. Have a good trip, Mr. Uh, Stringberg. Mm. He's through. We've done it. Well, I don't know. It must have been thrown out with the garbage. Unbelievable, but true. Dr. Ken's world reveals this fascinating scientific breakthrough. Instantaneous travel. I wonder if you still need a seatbelt. What about in flight movies? Oh, Jossie, please, can you just give us a hand? Sam, please, Dr. Ken's on. The model. We've got to move it. Otherwise, the window might end up on top of it. Sam, we've already been through this. Mr. O'Neill does not need to bring your bedroom window through the lounge room. But the phone is here, don't you see? So it's going to land around here somewhere, and you've almost... He's finished it. You just want to have to start again, Sam? Yes. Yes. Please, Dr. Ken's talking. There's now a fork. Anything happening? Dumps on the slippery dip with some other guy. I think Mr. O'Neill's next. Come out. I get here sick. All right. Don't breathe so much. Pardon? Let's have a chat. Let's stop one now. Master was dead. Very impressive. Yes, yes, yes. Now I have an art auction to attend. I shall be back here in two hours for the return journey. We can rest then. Now, come with me. Pleasure doing business with you. Who'd want to leave here? He's so old. Yes, me. <coughs> Thank you very much. The bus is the matter. Oh, 
Oh, no! What? Don't you recognise him? I'm sorry, Mr O'Neill. No friends of the smelly melops allowed. But I'm not their friend. Oh, rubbish. I see you in the nursery all the time. So? I'm an acquaintance of melops. Doesn't mean I think much of his kids. So what's happening? Dump won't let him through. Oh, I don't believe it. Now, well, I'm sorry. Rules are rules, and that's the way it is. And when Bernie Dump makes a rule, it doesn't get broken for no one nor nothing. You should offer him more cash. No. It's okay, he did. Thank you. No, Sam, it's going to stay right here, and I do wish you'd stop going on about it. But it might appear any second. Sam, windows do not just appear out of thin air. This one will. I think you'll find it won't. Rise to the bait. Hello, Mallop House. Jocelyn Mallop speaking. Oh, no, it's Jason. Oh, Jason. So, we're off to the country, are we? We're about to the country. Somewhere nice. Well, I'm looking forward to it. Ah, good out. Hang on, man. Let's go. Well, don't stay out too long, Jason. Just remember there's an awful lot of pamphlets to be folded and delivered. Don't you start off. Mr. O'Neill's coming. Yes, we know Mr. O'Neill's coming. on here. It's been over ten minutes and he hasn't come back yet. Um, no. Well, where is he then? What's the hold-up? I don't know. You could have at least knocked, given us some sort of warning. How could I knock? I didn't know I was going to end up in your lounge room. What do you mean you didn't know you were going to end up in our lounge room? If you come in through somebody's front door, where do you normally end up? Yes, but I didn't, did I? Uh, just here would be fine. Didn't what? Come in the front door. Well, you couldn't have come in the back door. He didn't. He jumped through the window. I told you that was going to happen. Don't be absurd, Samantha. Why would he try and drag a window through a window? No, I came through the window. I can hear. I do know what she said. But it really is the most amazing experience. Oh, you think so? I don't think it's amazing at all. People have been getting in and out of windows for centuries. There's no great secret to but, it. But, but what is amazing is why you didn't just knock on the front door instead of trying to drag a window through a window. If that's really what you did, well, no wonder you lost your balance and wrecked our model. I mean, look at that. Do you know how long it's going to take to repair that? No, but I guess you'll be wanting to make a start, eh? So I might just go to that. Excuse me, what are you going to do about Sam's window? It's in a room. We just took it there. But aren't you supposed to be putting it in? No, no, he was just getting it ready for the real one. What? The real repairman. Mr O'Neill, he's just a trainee. I mean, hang on, back in a sec. Mr. O'Neill, thank you so much. Didn't do it for you? Yeah, I know, but that still... That really is the most remarkable thing, though. Did you say it was Japanese or Chinese? No, it's Ebony's. Ebony's? Oh, I'll have to check on a map and see where that is. <laughs> Sorry, but before you go, where's Dump? I hope you left him somewhere really horrible. <laughs> Worse. I'm pleased to report. <laughs> What does it read? Still a fair bit left. Oh, we're okay then. Yep, all we've got to do is rebuild the model of the opera house. Where's Aunt Josie? She'll do that, won't she? Oh, she's resting, recovering from Mr. O'Neill. Hey oh. guys, come and listen to this! <laughs> Travel broadens the mind, so they say. But this trip's going to boggle your mind completely. As promised, I'm here at Royal Dump Air to investigate a unique and exciting new form of travel. Unfortunately, the general manager of Royal Dump Air, Mr. Bernard Dump, is unavailable, despite our frequent requests for an interview. What's he trying to hide? Let's find out from his young nephew, Darren. 
Now, first, young Darren, uh, perhaps you could tell us about this alleged instantaneous form of travel. Oh, <laughs> oh, sure. It's called a whoop. Of course. A whoop? Yes. <laughs> uh, that stands for Windows of Opportunity. <laughs> it's just like an ordinary window, really. Except that if you pin the phone number of the place you want to go on the window, uh, look, then you will... Can... you carry on? Can we have a look at this window? Well, uh, <laughs> not right at the moment. I mean, you could if it was here, uh, but it sort of isn't. Kind of. Now, why doesn't that surprise me? You see, my Uncle Bunny's got it. I take it that's Mr. Dump? Just where is your Uncle Bunny, Darren? And why is he afraid to talk to us? Oh, well, <laughs> I don't know. Exactly. He doesn't know. Never, 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 never trust those smelly mobs. You can't fool me. They're going to be in there somewhere. Oh, I'm them there, me here, break waiters. Oh no! Ah, in line of credit. Ah. Well, there we are, canine lovers. We have no burner dump. We have no instantaneous form of travel. It's all been one giant hoax. And to that well-respected bank manager who got me onto this story in the first place. I have just one thing to say. Oh, harmony, harmony, we can see you now. And all I wanted was your happiness, darling. That's a bit buzzy. Oh, oh, it's plain, it's plain. Oh, oh, and I'm here. Oh, oh, we're here, are they? Spill away, spill away.